Hello. Anybody there? Guys, look at me. Only nine minutes late. It's bloody good, isn't it? <laughs> ah, all right, let me try and get comfortable. Hello. Hello. I should put my glasses on because I can't see anything that's being said. Hello. Oh, now you can see I've got a ring light. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm very excited um, uh, for this. F oh, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. It's weird um, because it doesn't feel like Christmas yet, <laughs> which is funny because I'm dressed so festive. But, um, you know, I've just um, had the most amazing month at the World Cup. And for me, it's funny. I've been watching the World Cup ever since I've was born or old enough to watch it and um and every time the world cup comes around you know every four years it feels like it's christmas every day because i watch all the games i get so involved in it even when i'm not there so then this time i got to go to the world cup so it felt like christmas every day being at the world cup but not like actual christmas <laughs> Does that make any sense? So I was so invested in the World Cup and then now I'm all um, a bit, uh, uh, I've got post-World Cup depression and um, and now it's Christmas. So I've got to get my Christmas hat on, my egg hat on. And um, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it was weird having the World Cup during Christmas and now it's Christmas and I'm like trying to, I'm struggling to uh, get into it. Um, and also a Christmas, it's my favorite time of year. I bloody love it. Um, I wish I could be two places at once because I'm not with my family this Christmas. Um, but uh, it's funny because every Christmas I have so many different festive outfits. I bloody love wearing um, all my... Oh, I've got to take these off. It's distracting. Those are the ring lights. Um, I have so many Christmas outfits and I have them in like this one trunk um, in my bedroom. And I get very excited once a year. I get to dig out all my favourite Christmas outfits. Um... But this year I couldn't do that because I was at the World Cup and um, so I couldn't bring a trunk full of Christmas outfits for after the World Cup while I was travelling everywhere. So I don't have any of my festive outfits. So um, after this, I am going to um, find some of my, um, some find some new, some new festive ensembles. Um, yeah, because I, yeah, I need to, uh, this is the best I could do. What do you think? <laughs> um, oh wait, this makes it better. <laughs> this was actually I was in um, Dubai. Um, we had like a little break uh, from the World Cup, which I now regret because we went for on a break. Um, had the best time ever in Dubai and Oman. Oman was an absolute dream. But um, we were watching the bloody game where Brazil got kicked out in penalties. <sighs> I still, I still can't really talk about it, but it hurts my heart. Oh, man, oh, I have too much to say about it. Anyway, there was this table of um, Northern English people <laughs> in Dubai, and um, and they were having a Christmas party. I don't think they were watching the World Cup, and they all left, and I found these on the floor, <laughs> and I brought them home with me. <laughs> what do you think? You like them? All right, so. Um, let me have a look at some of the things you guys are saying um, and then I will get started. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Um, hi, Mackenzie. <laughs> Hello. Um, Merry Christmas, lovely lad. Wait, I'm not a lad. Um, uh, <laughs> This is funny. Um, Sellers at her brother's house. Uh, what's your favourite part of Christmas? Mine is hanging out with my friends and family. Yeah. Oh, gosh. My favourite part of Christmas, eating. <laughs> eating lots of food. Um, yes. Uh, my With my dad. I'm not with my dad this Christmas. Um, but I did get to have a lovely um, Thanksgiving in Bromley. Thanksgiving to Bromley. And ate yummy, juicy turkey. Because... <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. I will get back to my favourite thing about Christmas. But growing up, sorry, Dad, um, I thought that, uh, that turkeys were just meant to be dry. That's that's what they are. They're just dry. 
And um, so, and you know, you make a turkey taste good by covering it in gravy and it, you know, eating it with all the stuffing and the Yorkshire pud and everything. But I always thought the turkey was just the dry part until I met um, this man who shall not be named, um, <laughs> who um, on our first Thanksgiving together made the juiciest turkey I've ever tasted in my life and made it on the bloody barbecue. So, we went to uh, Bromley for Thanksgiving and uh, taught my daddy how to make turkey on the barbecue. And now he's gonna make it in Bromley for my mommy and my sister. So I'm very proud of him, very excited. But yeah, so my favorite part of Christmas um, is with my dad, um, we'd get up super early because we're both big kids and, um, and we'd be far too excited for Christmas. But the night before, we would um, leave a mince pie for Santa, a shot of whiskey for Santa, and a carrot for um, Rudolph, and um, and we'd leave it by the fireplace. And then early in the morning, my dad would wake up slightly earlier than me. I don't know why. And um, and the mince pie and the whiskey would be gone, and there'd be a bite taken out of uh, the carrot uh, by Rudolph. And yeah, my dad and I would get um, started drinking super early. I don't drink anymore, but um, we'd have like a shot of Jaeger, it's like 6 a.m. and get ready for Christmas. And yeah, I also love decorating. Um, so it was very nice on Thanksgiving, or was it the day before Thanksgiving? Um, the week of Christmas Thanksgiving in Bromley that we had in November, we got a Christmas tree and my mummy and I danced around the Christmas tree to Phil Spector's Christmas album, our favourite Christmas album, and, um, and yeah, decorate the tree. So the decorating's a big favourite part of Christmas for me. And yeah, I just love everything about Christmas. I love it all. Um, so let me have a look at more of a question. Um, okay. Mackenzie, hello. Um, am I in England or America? I'm actually in America. I'm in New Jersey. I'm on the East Coast. I'm in New Jersey. Um, oh my God. Oh, Shannon, yeah. I was devastated um, when Brazil uh, left the World Cup. I get, I, you know, it's funny. I need to do this. I haven't had enough time, but my dad had a great idea and he said that um, what I should do is do a compilation video of me and all the different teams I supported throughout the World Cup because every game I went to, I had someone I was supporting. And sometimes, you know, I fluctuated <laughs> because it's tough because I always liked the underdog. So, um, like, I loved um, Korea and Japan. Like, they were playing so well, so I was really hoping that they'd go further. Um, and Brazil, like, they just play... I just watched the, um, the movie about Pele and his amazing... Jinga style and just, you know, Neymar's just so bloody amazing. So watching Brazil just be so bloody good and then they just made that one mistake. You know, it really felt like it was it was in extra time. They scored the extra goal, like it was over, you know, and then they had that dodgy tackle and then evened out and then they lost the pen. Oh, it makes me cry now. It's really sad. <laughs> God, I get real emotional. Um, but it does, you know, Neymar's so good, so you just you just want him to go further. And, God, don't get me started on England, because they, they were the better team in that game, I'm sorry. They were the better team, and that ref was an absolute arsehole. And, yeah, granted, they had two chances at the end that they didn't grasp, but it's I can't even imagine how tough it is um, for a football player to be, like, literally be seeing this team the French team playing so dirty like being really rough and the ref doing nothing about it like by the end of the game it's gonna you know take its toll on you and it did and you know and they and they choked when when it mattered and that first first bloody goal should never have happened because England was meant to get that penalty and so they're all in an uproar like yo referee hello referee hello 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 wanker um <laughs> hello ref and so they're in turmoil about not getting a penalty. And that's when, you know, France bloody... And they're f the French players are amazing. And Mbappe is amazing. I'm not denying that. But that game... Okay. Let's move on to Christmas, shall we? <laughs> Let me have a look. Um, um, I, the, yeah, I really... I, I love the artwork that was done of, of Stella at the World Cup. Like... It really, I, I, I got that tweet 
just as um, you know, I was leaving Qatar and I was all you know upset post World Cup blues and everything, and then just seeing that it made me so joyful. Like my fans, you guys are absolutely the best. Like you really do cheer me up no end all the bloody time and i'm very happy that you guys are here there's so many of you guys here thank you for listening to me talking to myself <laughs> then we have a look at a few more of these comments um and then i'll get started with some of my um my prints they're all here and i have a few more um and and i've got my lipstick here i'll be smooching them all for you um so yeah um Oh, you like me in red? Thank you, Sean, darling. Um, Cleana, 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 Phoenix Cat. Hello, hello. Um, and you're an artist and a future animator. I love it. I will check out your page. Oh, Angel, thank you for saying I'm the greatest of all time. <laughs> I'm not. Messy is. But um, thank you. I'm the greatest at something, aren't I, surely? Um, love from Illinois. Thank you, Daniel. Is that a, this is like a, this is, this is from my sister. Thank you, sis. Um, it's a little, I don't know what you'd call it. A, a fascinator. I don't know. It's, it's made out of felt. I love it. I love it as well because I love hats and it's really, I travel so much. It's actually hard to travel with hats, but this one is firm and it, and it sneaks in my suitcase. So, um, so yeah, it is a hat, but there is a, a band going under here, underneath my hair. Um, oh, I managed to go to a nice deli in New Jersey today. Um, and um, and I uh, had a yummy, yummy breakfast with... I love deli. Not not deli. Not a deli, a diner, you plonker. I always get those mixed up. Uh, I went to a lovely diner. And I love diner coffee. Like, I just like the coffee that's been in the pot for ages and just refill it, refill it. Um, although I did not get enough because I had to come and get it's all attractive for you guys. Although I do have a filter on, so that is helping. Um, okay, nice hat. Thanks, Rusty. Um, ah, that's my lovely fan from Germany. I am not going to be going to England for Christmas. Am I sweating? No, darling, I'm glistening. This is actually some sparkle I put on. <laughs> nice to see you, my love. Um... Um, Brandon, my Christmas song, yes, is the best. Messy, the goat, yes. Um, Merry Christmas. That hat of yours is excellent. Ha <laughs> ha I love you guys. Um, all right. Thank you. This year, it doesn't feel like Christmas. Okay, so other people are seeing that too. Oh, thank you. You like my outfit. Good. Um, 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 I really just remembered. I forgot to get some water. So can I can I leave you here with my um, my Lieb right here? He's going to entertain you for a second. I'm just going to grab some water, and I'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. No one went anywhere, did they? No one went anywhere, did you? I got some water. I got some water. And she's back. No one went anywhere. Oh, more people here. <laughs> did you prefer it when I wasn't on screen? <laughs> um, what's on my wish list for Christmas? I actually haven't asked for anything. Um, yeah, I haven't. Mm. 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 Oh my goodness, I needed that. All right, um, so yeah, what's on my wish list? Yeah, um, oh, thank you guys. All right, so um, should I get started? Um, and then, oh wait, so people have got questions in here. Um, okay, so I, I answered what country I'm in. I'm in America, fuck yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm in New Jersey. And my favourite colour is yellow. Love yellow. Although 
I do, my second favorite color is red, as you can see. Um, and how is it working with Vivian Madrano? It's it's just the best. I love her so bloody much. I'm so grateful um, for this gig. It's just the best. And it was amazing because it was literally right before the world ended. Do you remember that thing? The coronavirus. Um, I love him smiling. Isn't he the cutest? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, my World Cup mascot um, but yeah so it was crazy so I met Viv um, right before so we went to we went to like this uh, what's the bar called oh, what's it called the Three of Clubs it's called Three of Clubs in Hollywood so we went there we were watching a friend um, do like a, a burlesque show and um, it doesn't want to stay up does it it's trying to get all sexy for you guys um, so yes yeah, so we went um, to see a show and I didn't know that it was going to be the last time I went out before um, before the world ended and we couldn't go anywhere and uh, yeah and I met Viv and I remember <laughs> I was like I remember I realized how much I loved her instantly because we were trying to decide what to drink and she was like oh, I don't really drink but I'll get a Long Island iced tea <laughs> For someone that doesn't really drink, that is the best drink you could possibly get, the strongest drink on earth. So I was like, I love, I love you, Viv, I love you. Um, and we had a cuddle and yeah, and I remember her saying she loved my voice and, and uh, that maybe there'd be a role for me one day. And I was like, I really hope so. And here I am, I'm the voice of Stella. And it's just, the gig is a dream come true. Uh, obviously being on a show with so many talented people and then with such a fat amazing fan base like you guys I get to you know sit here in bed and have a chat with you guys it's a bloody dream come true in it um let me have a look if I'm missing what um um all right uh, oh yeah art requests um about uh, me with Messi. <laughs> mm. ah. All right, guys. So let me get started with smooching these prints. So, um, so I actually signed them right before. Um, I signed them earlier, so you don't have to see the my egg hat for this whole stream. Um, but I'm going to just be shouting out and smooching them live. So um, I'll do a few now. And then I'll answer more of your questions or I'll just continue talking to myself. How's that sound? Sound good? Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. Guys, you've been saying so much. Uh, I, I... Okay. So if I miss your question, my mum's... My, if my, is my mum here? Mother, are you here? You better be here. Oh, Peacock Feather Dancer. Hello, darling. Um, so, yeah, my mum always tells me off when I don't answer the questions, but I can't see them. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Uh, but on the first day of Christmas. Okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to start smooching these prints for you guys. Mm-mm. mm Okay. So, this is for Darling Michael. Come snuggle by the fire with me. Bloody love you. Stella and Georgie, there you go. Where am I going to kiss? There you go, darling. Can you see the kiss? Mmm. There you go, darling. I'm going to sweep on the back as well because sometimes you can't really see it. Maybe it's just the lighting in here. Oh, I think you can see it, good. I, I, I kissed her titty. I kissed Stella's titty. Oh, police. No, I'm not here. There you go, darling. Okay. Um, oh, this is it's, it's, it's a dear, dear, dear fan of mine. Um, dearest Emiliano Villarreal, this time of year, your queen has plans for you. <laughs> I'm going to add some more lipstick so I make sure. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. You see that? You see that right there? Love it. Darling Connor. Connor, the legend of Connor. We love you, Connor. Mother, are you here? Um, okay. 
All right, I've just seen a question I will answer right after this smooch. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Darling Connor, bloody love you. There you go. There you go. Okay, so um, someone asked for some acting tips. Um, yeah, it's, it's so interesting. So I, I, I don't know if you guys, I've probably told you guys a gazillion times. But yeah, I started, I started dancing when I was two, two, two and a half, three years old. Um, and then my first role was in Aida when I was five years old. And, um, and I quickly learned that as being a love of, being a love, being a lover of dance, dance was my first love. But I learned very quickly when I started on stage at the age of five that um, you can't just dance, you have to act and sing. So I was a dancer that could act and sing. And um, so I quickly, you know, started becoming a triple threat, if you will. Um, but, and then it was so crazy because then, you know, I was basically a dancer that could act and sing my whole young, young adult life. Um, and then as soon as I went to dance college, it killed my love of dance. <laughs> and I became an, act, an actress that could sing and dance. Um, it completely switched. It's interesting, isn't it, how that works? You never know what's gonna sort of take over in your life. And yeah, so now I'm definitely now an actress that can sing and dance. Um, but my biggest tip for, um, for actors or acting tip is, um, oh God, that's a good question. Any tips? First of all, you, you know, um, the reason anyone would act or do anything in the arts has to be because you love it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's you know it's it's a hard craft it's a hard job it's a hard world to uh, break into or to live in um so you have to do it because you love it so just do what you love and do it as much as possible so as much acting you can do like um i really i actually really miss auditioning like pre covid and everything i didn't even i never even that's a this is a big tip of mine do auditions and then forget about them um because that's what i would do i'll just go to an audition enjoy just you know bringing the page to life um and then leave the room and forget about it and then one day my phone would ring and, and they'll be like oh you booked this i'm like i booked what i don't remember, I don't remember auditioning <laughs> because that's the um, best way to handle the rejection is to um not acknowledge it <laughs> <laughs> they're in denial <laughs> um but yeah and then the i think just working hard is is my top tip um for acting working hard but working smart and also you need to look like you're not working don't you <laughs> so it's kind of complicated really if you think about it um because i know like the like especially like um, working with Brandon, you know, it's an absolute dream come true, and we have such an amazing chemistry, and and it does sometimes feel like we're not working because it just comes so effortlessly to us, especially the Mindworthies, our characters together. Um, Rewatching the Twelve Days of Christmas, like I remember, like that was like a that took a lot of work, and I think you can see that in 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 um, the final product, but the actual. Um, acting part of it just it just was just effortless like i remember when we when i finally watched it all come together i was like god i don't don't remember doing that face or being in that moment but it was just organically happened and it and it worked so yeah it's it's i think acting and performing is that perfect um balance of um working your butt off and not doing anything. <laughs> am I getting, am I, does anyone understand what I'm trying to say here? Like it really, um, I think you have to get to a point in your, in the confidence in yourself and in your craft that it feels effortless. So you've done the work already. So you've done the research, you've done, you've studied the character, you know who you are so that when you are bringing the character to life, whether on screen or just in your voice, that it just flows out um, effortlessly. 
Did that answer any questions or did I just <laughs> ramble on like an absolute plonker? It made a lot of sense in my head. So I hope it um, made some sense to whoever asked that question. No, I can't even remember what the question was anymore. So there you go. <laughs> should I kiss some more prints? I think I should. Where'd they go? There they are. Ah, oh, okay. Um, Akira, are you here? Akira, Akira. You're my favourite. No, I say that about everyone, but um, um, you, you are one of my favourites, Akira. Akira, I, for, for one of my favourites, I should know how to bloody say your name, shouldn't I? Akira Ryzen. Rise, rise, um, so Akira um, had great confidence in me and, um, and told me to uh, write whatever I wanted on these prints. So I said, Akira, are you there? I'll feel really bad if you're not here, but hopefully I'm going to be entertaining and witty enough on this thing that I'll I'll save it. <laughs> so you'll be able to watch back. But Akira, I hope you're bloody here. Um, so uh, Akira Ryzen, my favourite poet. Bloody love your amazing voice and eloquent limericks. I bloody love you, Stella and Georgie. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Mm-mm. I got, I especially, this is, mum, are you here, mum? Because, um, I somehow stole your lipstick, but I really don't know how. But I have it, and I apologise, but it's mine now. And it's all over these prints, so you're getting my mum's lipstick on your prints. And actually, I did get this from mother, um, I stole it from her. It's her iconic look is these lips. And I stole it and I do it better. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do love smooching these prints. So yeah, there you go, Akira. Are you bloody here? Because if you're not, I'm very upset. Yeah, so apologies, guys. Um, I've been, in, as you know, I've been traveling a lot as of late. And so I've been in so many different time zones. Um, that my brain <laughs> is almost like when I remember when I was a kid and I was trying to get into pubs um, when I was underage and they'll be like, what's your date of birth? I'll be like, uh, 12th of November 1972. <laughs> no, no, that's right. No, 72 is right. I'd say like I was born in the 90s or something thinking that was gonna make me older. Um, see, I've got brighter already. Um, so this time I was like, oh, I'll do it at like 11 in the morning. So that would be like later in LA and then people in Europe can still come. And then um, when I was getting everything set up yesterday and Streamly was promoting, love you Streamly. I bloody love doing these. Thanks to you guys. Um, uh, Andrew, hello. <laughs> Nick, hello. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, so and when they were promoting it, they were like, oh, um, at 8am I'm like, 8 a.m. Who's doing a stream at 8 a.m.? What a moron! And I realised that I'm the moron. So apologies and thank you to anyone in LA that's got up. But I'm also very happy. Maybe it was a happy mistake because I know a lot of times when I'm doing the streams in LA, a lot of people in Europe can't um, uh, can't tune in or they've gone to bed. So. You're welcome, Europe. Yay, from Poland. It's evening time in Poland. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Um, Akira. Akira, well, you're in luck. Here you are, darling. Here you are, darling. Oh, Akira. Right. Can you tell me how to say your name? Ryzen? Ryzen? My favourite poet. Bloody love your amazing voice and eloquent limericks. Bloody love ya, Stella and Georgie. There you go, my baby. Love ya, and I smooched it. Um, I think you got two prints, so um, hopefully you'll be here for the smooching of the next one. So yeah, all right. So this was my actual, my original. Whee! <laughs> this was my original um, Stella print. Dearest Victoria, do you remember this print? Dearest Victoria, I'm going to break everything, everything you own, Stella. So there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to smooch Stella. Here you go, baby. That was a good one. All right. Love it. 
Okay. All right. So, um, yay. I love my, my Polish fan, Sarah. Lovely to see you. I hope my mother's here, but I've got a feeling she bloody isn't. What a bit. What a bit. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, yes, I was on The Bachelor. So, um, God, how long ago was it? Like 2016, I want to say. Was it that long ago? I don't know, but yeah, it was crazy. Um, um, I haven't told you this story, have I, guys? So I'll tell you it. Story time with Georgie. Um, yeah, so I remember I, I was just, I was in England with my family. Um, and I just got back to LA. And it's always tough to adjust um, back to LA life when you've been at home with your mummy and daddy and everything and just, you know, my small town and and just just having your English food and stuff. And you just start, I don't know. It's always, it's, it's a tough adjustment to go home, home. And then it's a tough adjustment to go back to your new home um, where I've made my new home in Los Angeles. So I remember I just got back to Los Angeles and I was just, I was, I, it, it takes me a few days to get back into it. So I was feeling a bit funky in not in a, not in a like, Funky town way, well, hey, like funky though. <laughs> funky. Um, so I remember I was in my bedroom and and I was just feeling just emo, um, which as you guys can probably tell is rare for me, but it happens. I've been feeling it actually the last few days too. <laughs> like post World Cup and missing my mummy and daddy and stuff. So yeah, Georgie does have her moments. Um, Anywho, so yeah, I just got back to LA and and I got this message on Instagram saying, "Do you want? Um, did I want to audition for some dating reality show? If so, fill out this questionnaire." So I was depressed and I did nothing to do. So I was like, "Fuck it, um, I'll fill out the questionnaire." <laughs> so I did. I love a questionnaire, mate. I really do. <laughs> I'm that person that like. Would you like to, when they stop you on the street, would you like to answer this question? Like, yes, I bloody would. I love it. I love answering questions about myself. It's great. Um, so, yeah, I filled out the questionnaire. Um, I had a good laugh with it. And then they were like, oh, um, can you get on a phone call? So I got on a phone call with them. And then they were like, okay, from everything you told me, can you just do a video, basically a video audition, answering these few bullet points? And I remember I was still not feeling myself. I wasn't feeling very Georgie-fied. Like, so much so that, like, I remember I'd, like, put my makeup on and I was like, oh, you look ugly. I took it off, started again. And then so I barely wore any makeup. And um, and I sat in front of the computer screen. And um, and then I, I, I did the... I answered all the questions that they said. Um, I think I talked about Slinky, my snakey. Um, and then just talked about um, all the hell I've been through dating in Los Angeles and then just how much I wanted love. <laughs> and I think I started crying in the video and I was like, wow. So like, uh, it was funny because I wasn't feel. I felt like I wasn't really my, my bubbly self. Um, but I think that that vulnerability worked really well in this video. So then I sent the video and then that's when I find out that it's The Bachelor but for the UK. So, um, basically, they're literally like, okay, we want you-ish, ish, they want me, but I have to go back to England and um, do the final round of auditions, which I did. Um, and then the next thing I know, I'm flying to South Africa to be on The Bachelor. And, yeah, it really, it's funny. Um, it really was, I always say, the best time of my life. I've had a lot of best times of my life. But, um... But it was really, I, it was a, an amazing experience for me. Um, I definitely, I, 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 one, I fell in love with all the girls on the show, which I, I really thought that, I was really nervous, and, you know, I was bullied a lot as a kid. I went to an all-girls school and there was a lot of mean girls and stuff. And, and so I've always sort of felt worried that women are going to be mean to me. So I was very nervous about that. And instead, you know, I've still got really good friends from the show um now especially charlotte love you so much and um and yeah and but it was also just it was i don't know how long exactly it was it was a month or something i think i was in south africa so you're without a phone and for me like i talk to my mum a gazillion times a day so like that was 
a really tough thing to not have my mum and that I asked for my mum's advice on everything I do so like this was like the first time in my life even though I'm in my I was in my late 20s then it was the first time in my life that I have to make decisions about my mother <laughs> which is funny um but yeah and I remember just just really just sort of embracing my own confidence in everything I do and everyone loved me and I was being completely unapologetically myself and um and and I was getting praised and loved for it and and I even got the first uh, impression rose because you know when, on the bachelor when they walk and they meet the the bachelor oh. um they have to do something usually while well, I stepped out of um the car and breathed fire <laughs> I stepped out with my flames and I did some body burning and then I jumped into splits and breathed fire and my red lipstick went all down my chin. <laughs> my best friend Joe, who's a makeup artist, was like, how did they let you go on screen like that? But yeah, I have makeup down my chin for the rest of the episode. Um, but then, yeah, so that made such a good impression that I got the white rose and then I got to take the bachelor on a date. So um, that was cool because then um, I took him out on this crazy circus date. Um... Which yeah, that I did. <laughs> it was it was it was an interesting day to say the least. And what you guys didn't see was that they were like, oh, so when he walks in, we want you to be on the 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 lira, the the hoop, um, performing for him as he walks in. I'd never done that before, and this is really 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 high up in the air. And um, so I quickly in like twenty minutes learn something um to do on this hoop to perform it for the bachelor and um as he entered i fell off <laughs> splat on the ground <laughs> luckily there was a crash mat there um and luckily they didn't show that on national television um we reshot it and um and they and they showed me um him elegantly taking me off the um lira god i babbled on a lot about the bachelor but yes i was on the bachelor <laughs> <laughs> but no, the best part was um, on my last day on The Bachelor, um, I well, I didn't know, obviously, it was my last day. So I'm literally, so we, we're doing the rose ceremony. And I remember that whole night, like, the producers and everyone, like, really want to talk to me the whole night. And, and, and I was just really in my own head. And they kept saying, you need to go and speak to Alex. You need to go and speak to Alex. And I was like, no, like, like, I know he likes me. We just had a great date. Like, I don't need to speak to him. I know we're good. And the makeup artist made me look fabulous. I really like the look they gave me that day. And, but I was so confident in staying on the show because I had such a great connection with The Bachelor and I thought I was entertaining. <laughs> that when the, the, he's calling out the names of, of the people that are staying, um, I wasn't really listening. And then suddenly... Um, everyone's hugging me and crying and my wife's everyone hugging me and crying and I look over and there's no roses left so, <laughs> so I was so shocked I was dumbfounded and um, and yeah and then and then Mark was like Georgie Alex wants to talk to him and I was like hey go fuck off <laughs> and then he said Georgie when you walk into a room you turn the lights on and I was like, you turn, you, you, no, when you walk into a room, you light up the room. And I was like, well, I'm glad you turned off the light switch. <laughs> and I stormed off. I was so upset because I just didn't want the experience to end. I was having the best time. I made some amazing friends there. The next episode was going to be when um, Alex the Bachelor met the family. And I really wanted my dad to be on television. I wanted um, him to come to Bromley. And yeah, I just, I really just didn't want the experience to end. So I was just devastated. So much so that they followed me into the room with the cameras while I was crying and packing. Because I also hadn't packed. Because <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't realise, um, well, I, no, I, they told, they make you pack before every rose ceremony because one of you is leaving. But I was like, there's no way I'm leaving. So I didn't pack. And um, then I got booed off the show. So yeah, so I had to go and pack my stuff. And that's when I was crying on Mark's shoulder um and yeah so actually on the show they did like a, a award ceremony for that season and i got the national treasure because i kept saying i wanted pie <laughs> i got the best entrance because the fire breathing and then i got the most real moment which was me sobbing when i left um 
and I actually remember this is probably too much to tell you but I'll tell you anyway then I'm leaving um and we're on the bus and there was one girl that actually gave the rose back she said she didn't want to stay on the show and um we're on the bus and um they're taking us back to our hotel that we stay there for a day before they they put us on the plane and send us home and they were like oh do you want some food the girl wanted the other girl wanted some mcdonald's and i was like no all i want is a cock and a cocktail <laughs> and um and the driver heard and he was like let me know your room number i did not let him know my room number but i did get a cocktail no cock um sorry mother okay so back to the signing stuff or should i have a look if you guys got any more things that you're saying greetings from germany oh thank you yes i had the best time in qatar sorry germany didn't do great either <laughs> um i'm not back in the uk jamie sorry um okay all right so let me do some more shout outs mother mother oh you were here just in time to hear that story perfect <laughs> Um, um, oh my God. So, uh, yes. Um, oh my goodness. Go Isha Stan. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so, so grateful for, uh, the World Cup picture of Stella. That is just too brilliant. And it's funny because, um, and my friends that I was out there with, we'd, um, we, we like playing a lot of games. It's just a silly thing that we do. And we're very competitive in our silly games. And if we win... So one of... Okay, so this is an example of the game that we would play. So, you know, in football, um, after the first half and second half, next time or whatever, you have um, added time for when, you know, injury time and whatever. So one of the games that we would play is we would guess how much extra time there was. And, um, and if we win, we'd be like, I won! <laughs> And it's such a stupid thing. But like, often I win, so I'd be like, I won. And that picture of Stella, it's as if you were there with me at the World Cup because it looks like she's going, I won. So yeah, I'm very, very grateful. That really cheered me up when um, I was sad leaving the World Cup. So thank you. So yes, mother. Hello. Hello, mother. Um, so yeah, so I'm kissing um, all these prints with my mother's lipstick. Um, so this one is Dearest Cat, Bloody Love Ya, Stella and Georgie. I love this print. It's just, it's too beautiful. So I can't kiss on the front of these because it doesn't show up and I don't want to ruin it. So you get a nice smooch on the back. There you go, darling. And, okay. More lipstick. <laughs> Hello from Brazil. Oh my goodness. Well, um, Neymar is just an unbelievable player and Brazil played really amazingly well and I was as devastated about Brazil as I was about England um because it was just oh, god it was so oh god I, I feel it all again right now oh my goodness um oh, oh. <laughs> it's just devastating I really I can't handle penalties I really really can't and so when the final bloody went to penalties I just I, I could and I was surrounded by French fans and I was like I can't I can't do it I can't handle it I can't handle it it was actually nice to be watching penalties and for um, them to go well or go for the team that I was supporting because penalties usually break my heart which they did for Brazil as you guys saw me crying so this is dearest Jade and Kennedy I enjoy tormenting you bloody love you Stella there you go all right. Oh, this is one that I've. This is a fan that I've. I've had a lot of love from. Mm. Oh my goodness! Hello from India. That's so cool. I love it. Um, I used to do katak dancing. I used to be a trained katak dancer, um, and I love performing at Indian weddings. I love Indian clothes and and Indian food, obviously. So, um, hello from India. That's so great. Thank you. Hello from Australia. I love it. I've never, I've never been to Australia. Um, uh, but I really want to, and I love Australians. So, yeah. So, one day I would like to go. So, oh, darling, uh, oh, darling, sexy Vinny Primavera. Why don't you come lay with me next to this steaming hot fire? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Bloody love your son and Georgie. There you go. And I'm going to kiss her boobie. All right. Ah, dearest Catherine Hilborn, have a hell of a Christmas. Bloody love you, Stella. I'm going to put more lipstick on because I want these all to be good. Hello, Queen. Where's Modesto? Sir Rusty Studios, where's Modesto? Tell me. I'm geographically challenged. Here you go. Smooches. Smoochie, smoochies. Um, Jackson, baby, bloody love you, Stella and Georgie. Oh, yes. Do, 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 do. Thank you, guys, for making it feel like Christmas. You're making it feel like Christmas for me. Do, 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 do. Here you go. Smoochie, smoochie. So smoochie, 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 smoochie. Okay, I'm going to do these two together. Because um, I've got a feeling, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, these people must know each other. I'm going to have lipstick all over my face, aren't, aren't I? <laughs> and Mo Modesto oh, is in California. Okay, whereabouts in California? Um, I live in California. Modesto. Yeah, it sounds very nice. Okay, so... Darling, darling Lin Lu, the greatest Christmas present for you. Bloody love ya. Stella and Georgie. Okay, I've got to put more lipstick on. North Carolina, I love it. Um, um, and then this one, dearest Yang Zia Odu. <laughs> Sorry. Um, obviously, it will be the best Christmas gift for you. Wait. Oh my goodness. You would, uh, clearly, I'm an actress. I can read. Um, obviously, it will be the best Christmas gift you have ever got. Bloody love you, Stella and Georgie. There you go, darling. Those two came together. So, um, Sarah from Poland um, was asking what my favourite uh, Christmas meal is. Um, uh, I know in, in Poland they have, they enjoy Christmas Eve, don't they, more so? Um, and, and they have lots of fish, right? That fish jelly stuff, yeah? <laughs> um, but yeah, my favourite uh, part, uh, my favourite Christmas part of the Christmas meal is a Christmas cracker. <laughs> I love Christmas crackers, um, but no, I, I think the stuffing is my favourite. I bloody love stuffing. Yeah, I think that would be be my favourite um, part. I do love my so usually on Christmas morning we'll have um, Polish eggs, um, which my mother makes. She's Polish you guys know um so which eggs bacon and onions um on yummy toast usually with champagne but i don't drink anymore so without the champagne it does just fine so yeah i think <laughs> best part of my christmas food was christmas cracker um oh and lots of pierogi so you have lots of pierogi on christmas yeah um actually it's funny because uh, on thanksgiving as I was telling you guys, we had Thanksgiving in Bromley. And we made so much food. And um, and it was just it was just the, the, the family um, at the dinner table for Thanksgiving. And then I realised, I'm like, shit, like I leave for the World Cup in, in, in basically a day. And I've barely seen anyone because I've barely been at home enough. So I last minute blasted out a bunch of text messages um, to, like, my closest friends and family and just said, like, oh, if you guys are free Thanksgiving evening, I know you don't really do Thanksgiving in Bromley, but if you're free, please come over um, and eat some leftovers and drink and hang out and catch up. And I didn't expect anyone to come, and then so many people came. It was a proper party. And then we had no leftovers because I, uh, Pat and I made a... Um, 
a tiramisu that was like ginormous and I have to say I really we were making it the night before because that's to sit in the fridge for the evening for the for, for a night um and I just didn't think it was going to be good but I really enjoyed making it because you like you layer it with the with the lady fingers you layer it and then you put the the brandy and whatever on it the alcohol on it and then you put, put the cream and the stuff we made and so it was a really fun process because i like anything where you're putting pieces together like a puzzle piece i love anything sort of artsy and um so i was really enjoying making it but i just didn't think it was going to be good bloody hell it was so good and i only got a little bit of it because everyone ate it because everyone loved it which is great obviously that's what um christmas is all about thanksgiving is all about um, everyone eating your food and yeah everyone was eating cold leftovers because my mum and dad don't believe in microwaves and um and so there wasn't any that's why i'm getting back <laughs> She goes like this. You ask me a question and she goes... Bleep, 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 And then she might answer it in the end if she remembers. Um, so, yeah, so my point was my mum was going to make yummy turkey pierogi with the leftover... Um, with the leftover turkey. But there was no leftover turkey. So we didn't get the pierogi. So, mummy, when I next visit, hopefully March or something, um, I would like my mummy's pierogi. Sarah, what's your favourite pierogi? Um, I like the meaty ones. Um, but I know some people like the fruity ones, so, yes, um, so, yeah, all right, shall I carry on with my prints? Uh, 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 mm -mm. um, <sighs> okay, Joseph, baby, come over by the fire and cuddle with me. I'll even make you cocoa, Joseph, baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Mmm. Joseph, baby. Mmm. Joseph, baby. Um. God. Oh. Lipstick's gonna be all over my face by the end of it. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. Hello, baby. Come sit beside the fire with me and snuggle. Mm. There you go. This one I actually didn't want a name on it, but I still wrote you a song. <laughs> so hurry down the chimney tonight. Mm -mm. All right. Any questions? Ah, oh, thank you, Rusty Studios. Yeah, I really, really... Ah, oh, you're getting Marilyn Monroe vibes. Oh, darling. Yes, thank you. Marilyn really... I, I, I do feel like I'm cosmically connected with her somehow. She's like my mother or something in the in the in the other world because I do, yeah I just feel so so connected to her and she was so intelligent and so misunderstood with that like her writing was unbelievable and she was just in so much pain like um, watching that recent movie was it called Blonde was it. Um, that movie killed me, it, like killed me. And I know it was based on a, it's a novel, it's not based on all truth. I'm sure it comes from some truth. And it was just so, like, it, like her performance, Anna Armas was amazing in it, but it was just, it was heartbreaking to watch. It was devastating to watch and just to, oh, it really, really broke my heart. And yeah, Marilyn, if you're listening out there, I love you very much. I think you're an amazing, talented, fabulous woman. So thank you. Any compliments saying I'm like her make me very happy. Um, <laughs> Lady Mindworthy is the British version of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, so this is Nick, baby. Bloody love you, Stella and Georgie. Oh, yes. Here you go. Darling Nikki, darling Tiff, you are just the best bloody love ya. Sell on Georgie. Yeah, Tiff, I remember um, uh, uh, you wrote in your notes um, how, how you were hoping that England won the World Cup. <laughs> and I was hoping too. <laughs> Honestly, it's really, it's really tough. I think, you know, 
the reason football is the most loved sport in the world because it really does just pull at everyone's heartstrings and it's just everyone gets so into it and it's just a beautiful sport it's a beautiful game um and it's just I, was like, I can't even imagine being one of the famous footballers because it's just there's there's so much pressure and then you know if you do lose the I, I, I replay any little tiny little thing that I've done wrong in the day or even months ago, years ago, things when I can't sleep, things come flooding back to me. You should have done this. Why did you do that? So I can't even imagine, you know, 1.5 billion people watching and, you know, you fuck something up. Like, uh, just thinking about Brazil, you know, they, they it, it should have ended at extra time. But then they had that dodgy tackle and then, you know, and and the whole game changed. And then with England, you know, just the Harry Kane, how he must be feeling with that second penalty. And I, I, I'm not mad at him in any way, like the pressure and everything. Like I can't, I can't get mad at him at all. And then Rashford, you know, Rashford has been an absolute god throughout the whole um, the whole of the World Cup and then he missed that moment and it just I just can't even imagine what they're feeling and for me <laughs> I act like I'm doing something for me <laughs> but for me it was really tough continuing watching the World Cup because all I could think about was how England deserved to win that game so it should have been England and Morocco the next game and I, Morocco you played amazing and look I have I really loved supporting Morocco. I love watching their journey. This is um, their, their, their sweater. Um, actually, I'm going to put it on right now. I'm a bit cold. Um, so I loved Morocco, but um, watching them uh, against France, you know, they, 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 couldn't, they couldn't keep up with France. So, um, and I do think England were playing better than France. So England would have destroyed Morocco in my head. And then it would have been an Argentina-England final, which would have been amazing because I love Argentina too. And so I do probably think that the same outcome would have happened, but England still would have been in the final and it would have just, just been amazing. <sighs> but that didn't happen, did it? <laughs> so back to reality, England lost to France and yeah. But I just kept replaying all of that. I was like, England, it should be England right now. Uh, and a, 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 a good friend of mine, um, uh, who's a lovely bartender in, in New York, um, Mariano, he's um, he's Argentinian and he's very good at football and also knows a lot about football and stuff. And so like we were messaging um, back and forth a lot and he told me at the beginning, he was like, it's going to be an Argentina-England final because I really respect his mind on I was like I believed him <laughs> and it didn't happen <laughs> all right so I'll get back to some of these signings um mm -hmm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so yes Tiff you are just the best bloody love ya Stella and Georgie so yes I do I wish I could have been writing on the front of this print fucking yes England love ya but I can't so but I still, I wrote on the back. <laughs> to, I wrote a little message for you on the back, my love. Which I'll save for you to, to read. Um, as a surprise! Um, so this is Darling Melina. What a beautiful name. Is this for you? Mm. There you go. Sarah's asking me, what kind of guys do I think Stella likes? <laughs> God, I really don't know. I really don't know. It's hard, isn't it, to think of that. Um, I've been really liking, um, there's a fan that's come up with um, this idea that actually Stella and Stolas, like, as kids, were like best friends. Um, um, and I, I really actually like that, that, that idea that they were actually best friends and they did, did you know, they built the family, they did what they had to do, they arranged marriage and stuff. So who knows? Maybe Stella's in Striker. Who knows? Who knows? So, um, my favourite British Christmas film. Um, I, yes, I will be uh, um, at the, the convention in Vegas. I'm very, very excited. It's all... 
I will be there. So yes, is anyone else going to be there? I look forward to meeting you guys. Um, my favourite British Christmas movie. God, I can't. I can only think of Love Actually right now. I really like The Holiday as well. That's a cute um, Christmas movie. Um, bloody hell, I can't think of anything. <laughs> what do we watch at Christmas? I bloody can't think of anything. Um, yeah, I do love the holiday. I love watching, you know, I was on, I was on the flight and I watched um, a bunch of like, I watched the Pelé movie. Um, I watched some other football movies. Um, and then I ended with um, a Hallmark Christmas movie. I love like cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies. So yeah, I love any sort of Christmas movie. Anything that will get me in the Christmas Christmas mood. Oh, darling Angel, I enjoy tormenting you. Bloody love ya, Stella and Georgie. Angel, I love that name. Wait, there's an angel on here. Is this you? Is this you? Is this you? Um, but yeah, I like to think that um, Stella is... Um, I like to think... Okay, I have an answer for you guys. I like to think that deep down underneath this rough, angry, bitter, hurt woman is someone longing for true love. So there's my answer. I think she wants true love. Mm. That's just in my head, obviously. No, no, nothing. Um, Akira, are you still here? Akira, Akira, Akira. Hello, Akira. Akira. <laughs> Don't tell me you've gone on the phone again. Because, uh, oh, oh, bok choy boy. I'm the best British person you know, woman you know. I love that. Thank you. Um, I have so many ideas for Stella Prince that haven't been done yet. So, yes. And it, it, I really think like, this is uh, one of my favourite parts of what I do is this. <laughs> I really, really do love signing these prints for you guys. I love interacting with you guys. I love coming up with different ideas. Like this one, this Christmas one, I came up with early on in the year. And so I was very excited for Christmas because I already had this picture that I shot last Christmas in front of my fireplace that I really loved. And I knew Stella would look really good in the same pose. So, um, Akira, there you are, darling. Um, so this is... Uh, Akira was very kind and said just write whatever you want so I took the liberty of doing so um, my favourite sultry poet Akira Ryzen did I say that right? thank you for being you hope you have a hell of a Christmas bloody love ya so much Georgie there you go my baby let's see if a kiss comes out I'm going to kiss my chest you can kind of see it it's tough on these shiny prints, so I'll kiss on the back too. Mm. Here you go, darling. Mm -mm. Okay. 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 Um, darling Louie. Ooh, I enjoy tormenting you. Bloody love ya. So much. Stella and Georgie. There you go, baby. God, I really do kiss those rather hard, don't I? Let's see if I got anything. Okay, I'm going to keep going with these prints, guys. Unless you have some specific questions for me. Um, my favourite writer. Sorry, you've got all these great questions, haven't you? Um, it's funny. Um, I have so many favourites. But... The books, my favourite books growing up um, were um, by Louise Renison and um, rest in peace, she's no longer with us, she died young. Um, I loved, I loved her books because um, they were about a young teenage girl called Georgia, I'm Georgie, Georgina, um, and she was so witty and so hilarious and I loved, I loved the way she it was written mostly like a diary and I loved the way she spoke about life and the way she made everything funny and I think that inspired me to be the same way like every embarrassing encounter she went through with boys or at school or whatever she found a way to to tell it in a way that was hilarious 
And so um, I think that's how I've got through life is uh, by... I feel like whenever something really embarrassing happens to me, I have to tell it enough times <laughs> as a funny story. And then suddenly that, those, you know, the the goosebumps and the, the sort of um, that feeling of like, oh, God, you know, when you wake up and you're like, oh, how do I do that? Why did I say that? Oh, oh. I think if you tell the embarrassing story enough times, it sheds away the embarrassment. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I think. <laughs> Um, what do I miss most? Um, um, oh my goodness, it's really raining here. I was really hoping for snow because it's bloody cold, but it's just raining. Um, uh, what, what do I miss the most about Britain? I miss my mummy and daddy the most. Um, I miss British food. Um, I miss my dad's fry up. Um, I miss um, my dad's roast dinner. I miss my mummy's soups and my mummy's beef stroganoff and my mum's macaroni cheese so yeah i miss a lot of food i miss english pork i think there's sausages and the bacon is just better over there um i miss english chocolate i miss orange squash um yeah and yeah i think that's what i miss the most and i just bromley where i'm from is such a cute little area and it's so it's so easy um to just like if you're like, oh, I just feel like getting out of the house and doing, you can always, like, everything that you can do is walking distance. So, yeah, that's another thing I really miss about Britain is walking and public transport. So, yeah, so that's a lot, isn't it? Oh, I need to visit more. Um, and I know, mummy, of course. <laughs> It's always telling me off for something I've missed. Um, yes, of course, I miss Roy Rogers, my lizard, the most. I was actually really... Uh, well, I'm missing all my animals right now because I'm away from my American animals too. Um, but Roy Rogers and Pedro, who's in hibernation, my tortoise right now. And lovely Frankie, who I hadn't seen in many years and, and she's getting a little bit frail and older, but she's very loving. And, um, yeah, so obviously I miss all my animals. Thanks, Mother. For reminding me. Thank you, darling. Um, okay, so let me... Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, whiskeys. Um, um, my dad said Richmond sausages. Um, oh, wait, Dad, were those the sausages that didn't have the skin on them or something? Bloody hell, they were good, yeah. Um, someone else is asking my favourite colour. I know it looks like my favourite colour is red. That's my second favourite colour. My favourite colour is yellow. My favourite movie is When Death Becomes Her. I love that movie. Or Centre Stage. I love Centre Stage too. Um, all right, I'll do some more prints. Drink some more water. I'll do some more prints. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm having so much fun, guys. I I thought, um, I always feel like it's 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 easier, you know, um, and more fun when I'm um, with Morgana or Brandon and, and I just love, you know, being around there magical amazingness um but i am actually having fun by myself so thanks guys <laughs> i didn't know if um it what what i'd be able to talk about or what i was gonna do or how i was gonna interact with myself but i'm having a great time <laughs> i'm having a great time by myself and i won't shut up will i so um yeah let me um oh my goodness i would love to go to korea um i'm actually going to uh singapore um for the first time. Um, I've never been to Asia, I don't think, have I, Mum? Answer that question for me. Um, so so I'm excited to go to Singapore. But yes, I'd love to go to Korea. I'd love to go to Korea. I'd love to become a K-pop star. If anyone has uh, a way of making that happen, can you please um, do that for me, please? My favourite place in the UK? London. You just can't beat London. Although... Um, I did um, go to the Cotswold and it's beautiful, but it was, I had the best time I was going to visit my dear friend, Helen and, um, and her lovely child, Charlie, love him. Um, but um, it was raining, so we couldn't really enjoy, like I love the rain anyway, it's England, you know, but I kind of wanted to go out and explore the English countryside and you just couldn't, because it was bloody pissing it down, so. 
Um, but yeah, I think the best part of the UK is London. I know, it's a bit obvious, but it's, it's the truth. Um, and my uh, lovely German fan asked me if I have any Jägermeister. So I've stopped drinking. I don't drink anymore. I've done. I had 10 years of fun with alcohol. And and, um, and at the beginning of summer, I just decided that um, I wasn't going to drink anymore. And I've stopped. And, and I love it. I'm, I'm like, it's funny, I feel like I'm like, um, drunk all the time anyway, like I still, it's not like I'm, I don't drink and now I don't go out or don't do things that you know, people drink, no, I'm with them, I'm bar hopping, I'm doing everything, I'm just not drinking alcohol, and, um, and yeah, and it's weird because... I seem to be having more fun. My mother doesn't drink, and I guess I've joined her. I didn't actually drink until in my early 20s. I think I started drinking at 24, and I quit at 34. So, yeah, I'm done with the alcohol. I do, I will actually miss Jägermeister, because I actually did really like the taste, and I loved drinking it up the mountains. But I'm done. No more drinking for me. Um, Um, a tea or coffee, Sarah? Sarah's got all the great, great question. It's intelligent Polish women. They're the best. They're the best. Um, so, yes, I, I love coffee. Um, I love tea. Actually, so it's funny. Sorry, um, I, I'm, a bit, I'm a terrible British person because I don't really um, drink tea. But actually in, um, in Qatar and Dubai, um, I fell in love and Oman, I fell in love with Arabic tea, um, which, no, Arabic coffee, which was like, a, it's like coffee, but it's got like cardamom and all these spices in it, so I loved that, but then Karak tea, I love even more, and they had it on my flight, and my flight was bloody long, it's 15, 14 and a half hours, um, so I just kept having Karak tea, and, and it tastes, it, it's, it's, it's like a black tea with condensed milk, and like cardamom and some different spices and stuff. And I'm so in love with it now that I need to figure out how to make it myself because it's gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna be drinking as much tea as you, mother, but I'll be drinking the the Karak tea. <laughs> but, um, and then when it comes to coffee, like I love um, at, um, at the diner today, I just love diner coffee. But then I also like, you know, mochas and stuff. Mochas, mochas, I don't know. So yeah. So yes, um, okay, okay. How how was it? Adam's asking a great question. How was it filming the Twelve Days of Christmas video with Brandon? So let me just do. I just put lipstick on. So let me just kiss, kiss this, dearest Lindsay. I just love. I just enjoy tormenting you. Bloody love you, Stella and Georgie. There you go, darling. And this one. And now I need to put more lipstick on, so I'll answer the question. Okay, dearest Ethan Watkins, bloody love you, Sarah and Georgie. Ethan Watkins, what a great name, Ethan Watkins. Ethan Watkins. Um, oh my goodness, so it was, it was crazy. Um, um, it was actually Trish who uh, came up with the idea, because I remember um, Brandon and I were like, oh, we have to do a Christmas video of the Mingeworthies. Um and for the first time in our um, career together, working together, we had complete writer's block. Like we, I remember we came to, we, we, the Mintworthy's house is my house. Um, and, and we were there, we had this day that we were gonna be filming and we'd, we were building like this, uh, what, what would you call it, Christmas, the, the gingerbread house, building a gingerbread house and we we're coming up with this whole thing. And I remember like, we like knocked the table over and we broke some of my Christmas decorations. I was all upset and 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 nothing was working. They were doing we were being our funny selves, but um, or mindworthy selves. Um, but we just wasn't nothing was clicking. We couldn't think of what we were gonna do for Christmas, and we got all these props and stuff, and it just it was just wasn't working. And we were like really sort of stressing out about it. So we, I remember that day we were just like let's just stop filming for today and think about it. And then Trish. Love you, Trish. Um, uh, actually, came up with the idea. Why don't you guys just do the twelve days of Christmas, and then that's when um, everything flowed, and um, and we came up with that um, genius. If I can say so myself, genius video. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. It took a lot of work because each different um, 
setup. We, we, I don't know if you can tell, but you know, different, different. It was just the three of us. It was Brandon, Joshua, and I, and um, and each different setup um, for which day, twelve day or ten day or whatever. Da, da, um, we had different coloured lightings and stuff, and we it was all in my house. But we wanted to use all different parts of the house, so we had to set up each different one. So I remember that we would get halfway through filming at that day. And we'd be like, what are you guys up to tomorrow? Are you free? And we'd be like, okay, good. So we'd relax. So we'd just get done what we could that day and we'd do another day. And I think it took like probably a week. I'm, uh, I might be wrong, but it, it took a long time. And, and yeah, I like that setup that we did in my driveway with the existential crisis. Um, uh, like, yeah, it was just all of the, it was, we had an absolute blast doing it. But yeah, it was, it was a, a lot of work too. Um, and poor Brandon um, is allergic to my cats, so that's um, not fun for him with the white makeup on um, and the sniffling. So yeah, so it was it was it was a shit ton of fun, but a lot of hard work. But I think it it definitely I I think I know it all paid off because it's bloody brilliant, and it's something I'm so proud of, and I'm so happy that it's something that I can post every year. Um, so yeah, it's our own Christmas hit, isn't it? Don't you love it? Oh, I love him back here. All right, shall I get back to signing some things? Eric, how you doing? Miss ya, love ya. Um, all right, let me get some lipstick on and smooch more. Uh-uh-uh. Oh my goodness, I would love to go to Brisbane. Brisbane. <laughs> Brisbane <laughs> yes please I would love to I, I I really am dying to go to Australia I just haven't done it yet but I will um here you go darling Kyle oh that's funny I've got another story for you because <laughs> it's funny because it's spelt the same way Kyle my second kiss so I'm actually um I'm actually writing my memoirs right now, guys. Um, so I don't know. Um, um, would you guys buy my book if I published my book? So that's the aim. So I'm writing my memoirs right now. And it's funny because, um, you know, you start writing and, and everything in your life sort of interconnects. So it's fun to write because I'm suddenly writing something here and it reminds me of a story from another time. As in, I sort of take a break and I write in other bits and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I did actually write about my second kiss. Um, so it's fresh in my mind, so I can tell you guys about it. And it came back up because Kyle, uh, my second kiss, was, um, it's funny how you remember names, don't you? Kyle Gage. And um, and so I remember, so I went to an all-girls school, so, you know, it's, you know, there's no boys to be seen. And so my friends would go to Blush Disco, which was basically in, like, a church hall, playing music basically like a, a school dance like in america but blush disco they would invite boys to and um and, and i remember my friends coming in school and being like oh my god i i copped off 10 guys last night at blush disco blah, 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 blah. i'm like oh my god i can't believe you kissed so many boys like i'd only kissed one boy um and that was when i was much younger and he told everyone that we didn't kiss that i was lying so um, I felt like I hadn't kissed anyone because he denied that we kissed. Um, so this is like three years after my first kiss and I'm at Blush Disco and everyone's doing that. So basically what they do is <laughs> the guy will come up to you and be like, will you cop off with my mate? And then, <laughs> and then you're like, you look at the mate and you're like, okay. And then you kiss. And so um, Sarah Webber <laughs> went up to Carl Gage and went, would you cop off with my mate? And pointed at me and I'm like, <laughs> and he's like, nods. And he takes out his strawberry chubby chub. And he goes, rah, 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 and kissed me for what felt like eternity. I'm like, rah, 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 rah. and then he, then he, <laughs> he removes his tongue from my throat. And he looks at me, does the head nod and puts his strawberry chubby chop back in and walks off. <laughs> so yeah, that was my second kiss. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Too funny. Um oh my goodness. Um 
<laughs> you guys are so cute. Thank you. I tell my silly stories and and um, do I like Philomena Kunk? I don't know what that is. Um, Declan, I don't know what that is. Um, so okay, let me get back to. So I'm never. Oh my goodness. I said to myself, I'm just gonna keep going until I need to pee, and I already need to pee, and I've got so many more to do. Okay, Dylan, Dylan, a hey baby, bloody love you, Stella and Georgie. Oh yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was a funny. Oh, my acting came out good. Dylan, a hey baby. Oh, okay. I do love these ones. Andrea Rabaza, are you here? Andrea Rabaza, baby, don't tell my idiot loser of a husband, Stolas, but I love living the single life. Now bring me another goblet of champagne, you peasant. Have a bright and peaceful and hopeful 2023 with me. <laughs> Did I make that work? <laughs> Oh my God, thank you guys that you love my stories. So that's good to know because yes, I am in the process of writing my memoirs. Um, I don't know what how I'm going to write it, whether it's going to be like a... I've got a feeling it's going to end up being like a bunch of short stories. Um, but I don't know. Right now I'm just really enjoying writing. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but thank you. I'm glad you like my stories. And so Andrea Rabaza also said, can you draw a bunch of stars? I thought, thought I'd be good at drawing stars, but they all look um, not very good. Um, but I, I did draw stars for you. And I've got some kisses for you. James, baby. Bloody love you, Georgie. I nearly wrote Stella on here, but I'm like, oh, it's no, it's not Stella, it's just Georgie. Thank you for buying the one of me. It makes me feel very special indeed. Oh, yes. Oh, look, that's a good place to kiss on here. Oh, James, baby. Bloody love you. Uh, 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 uh. Favourite lipstick. My mother will say Chanel, darling, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, but for me, no, I'm, I, I kind of... Um, my favourite colour lipstick is like an orangey red. Um, but I'm always t t trying a bunch of different brands. And I actually just bought this one from... Well, the one that I'm wearing underneath is from Maybelline. And I really, really like it. Um, but actually, my favourite one right now... I know it's my favourite because it's run out. Is by Smashbox. Let's find it for you. Oh, she tripped over. Do you? Oh, I don't know where I put... That went well, didn't it? I don't know where I put my makeup bag, yes. Where did she put it, oh yeah. I wanted to find out what um, colour it was for you. Um, oh, look, it's hiding under the bed cover. Oh, look, did you see? He's over here. I've got two of them. Oh, these are so soft. I didn't get this until like near the end of the World Cup. Um, and I wanted it the whole time, so it felt like my most prized possession. Um, so yeah, I really love this one. Yeah, of course, of course I love this one. It's called the Thrill Seeker. Of course I love it. So yeah, I need a new one of this if anyone wants to buy me that for Christmas. <laughs> that would be great, thank you. Um, so yeah, Kyle, for goodness sake, Kyle Gage. Did you really have to get this many prints from me? I know you just can't, you can't, you can't forget that amazing strawberry chopper chop flavoured smooch that we had when we were 13 years old, can you? You just can't, you can't, you can't forget it. Baby, just get over it, all right? <laughs> Kyle, baby. <laughs> oh. Guys, you can't write this shit. You really, really, really can't write this shit. This is too funny. Oh my God. Guess what I wrote on this one? Not thinking about my story. Kyle, baby, meet me under the mistletoe, darling. Merry Christmas. <laughs> How 
How funny is that? Oh my god, guys. I can't. Oh my god. I can't get over that. That is too funny. I can't believe it. What are the odds of that happening? That is really, really funny. That is very funny. Kyle. Kyle Gage, I know. It's the best kiss of your life. I get it. I get it. Okay, well, that's so... Oh, God, that's really tickled me, guys. Because, you know, you know, anyone that's been to any of my live streams before, you all know that I never know what I'm going to be able to talk about. Like, none of this shit is planned. So the fact that that all came around full circle... Um, yeah, that was pretty great. Hilarious. Joseph, baby, get your s sexy ass over here and bloody stroke my rear, my dear. <laughs> I got a bit frisky in that one. I think Joseph said to write anything sexy, so that's what I came up with. Get your sexy ass over here and bloody stroke my rear, my dear. Okay. Merry Christmas to you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Um, darling Thomas. Um, can I speak, someone's asking. Nira Zuma Popolsku. Shpidele <laughs> Gohamshir. How was that, mum? This lipstick, it doesn't, maybe it's just the lighting. Can you see it? Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Magenta, you're recording this. Yeah, well, I think this is bloody brilliant, so I'm going to save it for here. So hopefully Carl Cage will find this and see. <laughs> now I'm talking about him so much. Okay. Jordan McElvain. McElvain? McElvain, right? Jordan McElvain. Baby, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, and a Happy New Year. Bloody love you, Stella and Georgie. Oh, yes. Ah, 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 ah. Some good smoking on that. Um, guys, you guys, thank you for being here. Sujan! How you doing, Sujan? Merry, Merry Christmas. Love ya. Um... Robert, baby, come join me under the mistletoe. Merry Christmas. Ah, 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 but it's great to hear you love Marilyn Monroe because there was an animation of Stella doing the iconic dress pose. You'll see it soon. <gasps> Oh my god, well, have you? Uh, so, so go Stan, if you could stay for one more second. Um, I actually um, recreated that famous um, scene in a movie. It's on Amazon. Um, bloody can't remember the name of it. Um, but it opens with me in the white dress as Marilyn. And then I recreate Marilyn's final movie when she's swimming naked in the pool and, uh, and giggling and everything. So, um, oh my god, Stella. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait for that fan art. Thank you so much. I bloody love you. Thank you for my World Cup fan art. And um, I will see you next time. Mwah. Okay, Robert, baby. Come join me under the mistletoe. Mwah. Mm -mm. Mwah. Mm -mm. Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Um. Ah. Uh. And it's, it's my, she, <laughs> Sarah likes my spadelic armchair. <laughs> I think my daddy came up with that. Um, um, yes, my lovely German fan. Uh, I'm sorry, I actually don't know your name. I just know your um, Pino soon. I don't know what, what's, what your actual name is, so you can tell me. Um, um, yes, I'm going to be skiing in Jackson Hole in January and Mammoth right after. So I will be putting some Twixes in the snow and saving them for later in the day to eat. So yes, thank you for remembering. I shall be doing that. Um, yeah. Um, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, okay, so you, you guys, um, anyone that's been at my live streams before, you know that I have a thing on my phone that gives me, you know, words of aspiration throughout the day. 
And um, so, the one we just got. I am grateful I get to live this thing called life. Is that great? I'm grateful I get to live this thing called life. I really am. Um, there's, yeah, there's, it's, it's, I was really, 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 really affected um, by um, uh, Twitch's suicide. It really, it was, I was literally on the way to, what game was it? remember which football game it was and we were in the car and and I looked at my phone and I went <gasps> and the whole car was just like what and I was just, like I was in utter shock and I broke a burst into tears like it really really broke my heart it's um uh and it makes me sad just talking about it now I really didn't want to bring it up and then it just came up um but uh, like when I when I first came to LA my dear friend James actually introduced me to Twitch and 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 he was, you know, already a famous, successful dancer, but he wasn't as famous as he later became. And I remember meeting him and his smile just like, you know, just lit up every part of me and just, just the, the whole room and just, I, and he was so just loving and supportive and was like, welcome like to America. It's so cool to have you here and blah, blah, blah. And I just remember being like, God, this guy is so cool and, um, and so charming and so amazing. And then seeing him, um, you know, evolved from a famous dancer to a just world famous, um, talented human. He was always a talented human, but like just watching his success grow and rise and then just following him on social media and everything and just, just being in love with this amazing person. And just, uh, I really, I, I can't, I need to change the subject. I really don't know. Um, um, I, t I can't understand. It just makes me so sad. Um, that he took his own life because he really like he was such a gift to this world and to this life and so I want everyone um, out there to know that like you are all a gift and life is a gift and and uh, you know we all hurt and stuff and just you know reach out and um, oh, I don't even know what to say but just just know that life is precious and <laughs> and please just live and love everyone and just yeah live life to the fullest and 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 ah oh, i need to change subject <laughs> oh whew, ah, okay put lips put lipstick on and, and change the subject someone asked me a question um someone asked me um hi merry christmas someone asked me um something funny <laughs> so i can change the subject but yeah it really really did break my heart Ha ah, ah, okay, back to Christmas things. Um, um okay. Okay. Um a Abraham Alvarado, babe. Abraham Alvarado, baby. I am your present. Now unwrap me. Bloody love ya. Um that was a good one. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm moving swiftly on. Whoo! Whoo! That really got me. I shouldn't talk about it. I shouldn't talk about things. I should be British and brush it under the carpet and not talk about it. Because <laughs> otherwise I'll cry. Um, okay, so lipstick. Uh, mm, lipstick. Mm, lipstick. Lipstick saves the day, doesn't it? Um, okay. Uh, Abraham Alvarado, baby. I am your present. Now unwrap me. Here you go, darling. Ah. There you go, baby. Um, um, yes, my life motto. Um, um, okay. Uh, my life motto, Sarah. Thank you. Um, so smile and the whole world smiles with you. That's been my life motto since I was a kid. Um, and and I think it does. It really it it's a great motto because it it it's it's true. It really works. Um, even when I'm having like an off day or a down day or something's going on with me, I really try and um, just still spread love and light and joy to others. So even if I'm not feeling great inside, if I'm going to the supermarket or the shops or anything, I I would love to. I love to crack a joke and 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 give a compliment to someone. So that's a, another great thing that my mother taught me. If you think someone looks fabulous, or if you like something that someone's wearing. Or you think someone's performance was amazing that you've just seen, tell them. Because people often think, oh, they don't need to hear it. They don't need to know. I know myself, anyone comes up to me and tells me 
it gives me a compliment it really does make my day so that I always go out of my way to do the same for others so um I like to so yeah that's one of my little uh, tidbits of advice for you guys if you're walking down the street and you think someone looks cool tell them and for me like now I'm so used to always telling people um that sometimes it blurts out of my mouth like mid I'll be talking to someone and I'll look up and I'll be like god you look good <laughs> <laughs> and it just comes out and you know more often than not the other person will be like oh my god thank you I really need to hear that because we do we you know we we need to hear oh, however however fabulous you might think we are we need to hear that we're fabulous because we might not always feel it <laughs> I know I don't always feel it so I love I do love compliments from you guys thank you very very much so let me keep on with the smooching shall I Mm -mm -mm. Um, okay, this one didn't have a name on it, so I'll just smooch it. And this one didn't either. Thank you, guys. See, people are giving me compliments, just like I told them to. You really listen. You guys pay attention. It makes me very happy. Okay. All right, I'm nearly done with the ones that are done. Is one I made earlier. Is one I made earlier. Um, Joris, baby. Mother, run out of Chanel. <laughs> mm, thank you, guys. It's funny. Um, when I, I love them. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, everyone's giving me compliments. I'm like, oh, it's because I just told them to. <laughs> <laughs> um, and thank you Tom for saying that you love my hair because um, I really need to get my hair done it's been a long time and my roots are really grown out and I have got to Jersey and so I called up this place I was like hi are you any good with blondes and they're like yeah we have so many people that are good with blondes coming for a consultation right now I was like great on my way there and then they call me and I'm like I'm nearly there like I'm, I'm, like, I'm two minutes away they're like yeah we just wanted to let you know that um Whereas we can give you a consultation now, we can't do your hair until the new year. And I'm not here in the new year. So that didn't help me. So that's why I am conveniently wearing this egg hat that covers up my roots. <laughs> so yes, thank you. I was going to say something else and someone else said... Um, oh, someone else said, oh, said that I'm so cool. Um, um, and yeah, it's funny because uh, I was never the cool kid. My sister is the eldest and well she won't my sister lies so much about her age that she's now the younger sister even though she's five years older than me but this is my stream so i can tell the truth she's five years older um she's the older sister and she was just always the cool one you know she's just cool she you know she was just she was the rebel she was the cool kid she was cool at school because she was like naturally good at everything so she didn't have to work hard so she could just be cool and just, yeah and she was just cool and I always wanted to be like her but she would, wouldn't let me copy her so I couldn't be cool I was the I was the like the cheesy younger sister so people saying I'm cool is a really nice compliment because um I don't feel very cool so thank you <laughs> I appreciate you very much telling me that I'm cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I'm giving you a nice smooch here Nick there you go, darling. Let me give her a smooch on the back, too. Mm, Will. Will, I like your British flag. Thank you, baby. There you go, darling. So let me have a look if I've got any more um, on here. That... Um, okay, let's reload. Okay. So, I do have a shout-out that I need to do for Deputy Rook. Deputy Rook Walker. I need to bloody do it. And I will do it. I will do it. I'm sorry. Sarah, thank you. Let me read this. Your energy is inspiration to me in every bad time. Next year, when I was... When I was on your live stream, I was so sick. Oh. Sarah, thank you. That makes me so happy. I'm sorry you were sick and I hope you feel better soon. 
Um, yes. <laughs> Wait, is that Andrew? <laughs> I hope he keeps singing it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I bloody love it. So, um, yes, yeah, so I need to do a shout out for Deputy Rook Walker. Um, I still don't quite understand what you want from me. So I'm going to send you my voice note, what I, what I come up with as Stella, obviously. And if you don't approve, I will do it again free of charge. So please just let me know because I want to do exactly what you want and what you love. Um, and then Badua um, wants me to draw Stella and quote Stella. And I don't have that one print. It's the one print that I don't have, me here, have with me here in Jersey. So I will do that one as soon as I have that print in my hand. I will do it and I will send it to you. And that gives me more time to learn how to draw. <laughs> Um, and then, okay, um, um, okay, so the, the, oh, this is for, make it out to S. Okay, so I haven't done that one yet. And then Ga Gabrielle Estella, um, have Stella asked me to kill Stolas? <laughs> so I will do that. And then Kevin Kamura, um, I will do yours um, and I will smooch it. But here's your shout out, Kevin Kamira and um, Gabrielle Estella. And yeah, so I think I've nearly done my love bugs. Um, um, I have the cutest laugh in the whole of America. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. It's funny because um, I have so many laughs. I have no idea what one's going to come out. Um, so I'm glad you approve of whatever ones are coming out right now. <laughs> Because I really have no idea. I don't know why I have so many different laughs. I guess it just comes out um, how, as it feels like it. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, Sarah, thank you so much for all your kind words. Andrew, are you proud of me? I think I did a bloody great job without my producer Morgana here to help me. Um, so, yes. Thank you, Andrew. Um I've had a lot of fun here. So I'm just checking if I've got any more final things um, to say for you all. Um, so I do... Um, oh, thank you. I did a good job as Stella. Okay, so I guess um, I think it's time for Georgie's final thoughts. Georgie's final thoughts. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. Yes, Sarah, slip into my... Um, Slip into my DMs and I'll, I'll let you know when you can send uh, me and Whiskey a gift from Poland. That would make me so happy. Thank you so much. Um, so, yes. So, Georgie's final thoughts. Um, I just want everyone to um, love each other. <laughs> um, love life. Live life to the fullest. Be kind to each other. And... Wake up every morning, look at yourself in the mirror and say, fucking hell, I love you. <laughs> really, it's really important to love yourselves. Love yourselves as much. Um, I know myself. I, I, um, I, one of the things I love about myself is how deeply and strongly and hardly. <laughs> That's not the right word. But um, how deeply I love um and it's only been recently that I've realised I don't think I do. I love as deeply and as strongly as hardly. <laughs> I did it again. Um, I don't think I do that enough for myself. So I've really, this year, that's been my um, thing, is been trying very hard to love myself. Um, and it's still a daily challenge. Um, so I want everyone to look at themselves in the mirror and say... Bloody hell, I love you. You're great. And um, start your day like that. End your day like that. And, yeah, be kind to each other. And just have a, an amazing, amazing Christmas. And just remember that you're loved. I love you. <laughs> Is that good? I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. That was like bloody two hours nearly, wasn't it? And it, it flew by. Um, so I'm very very happy and um yeah have a great christmas happy holidays i love you no i will not show you my boobs <laughs> and on that note i am off <laughs>
Oh my goodness, you all guys, you all stayed for the whole time. I love you. Oh, mom, I love you. <laughs> Missed you, mommy. All right, I love you guys. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. Love you. <laughs>